Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a Gemba board. We put up this Gemba board in the production shop. These are the, some people call it key performance indicators. And it's a place where the team can gather around and talk about the, the key things of each day. How did yesterday go? Do you have any issues today? You want to post it there. So this is a meeting spot. And the first thing to do is find a good location in the production building right when you come in the door. This was the good spot, so we needed to make some room for it. Here is a before, what you would see when you came in before. And here's just another shot. Kind of had a hose dangling in the way. So all these things had to be fixed before we could begin. And then here was a prototype. I said to Jose and Gordo, I said, guys, this is what we want to get on a board somewhere. So it's going to need to be big. So what we did was we, we said, let's put up a four by 10 black panel. First step that Jose did was he found two cabinets that were leftovers or defective or whatever and had Gordo put those on. The next step too was Gordo made this amazing black board. So now you can see there's four cabinets there. We've got the board up. And then we moved all of the, the uh, signs and stuff to that board. So that's what it looks like right now. Step three, fill out the board. And I'll walk us through each, each line item here. But that's what it looks like right now. And okay, so key performance indicator. The first thing we always want to talk about every morning is safety. That's key performance indicator number one. So you'll see at the top here, that's how the department is doing. Only this department production is now at 50 days incident free. The second one is all the buildings. So far this year, we are at 11 incidents. Here is incidents by type and by department and by body type, body part. And then here we started doing safety tailgates. We'll have a safety tailgate every week. And those would be the topics right there. Okay, so then we go to the second column, labor, which is key performance indicator number two. So in this first one, we're trying to show how many cabinets we made yesterday at the assembly benches and how many we finished. That's that graph. The second one is how efficient were we? If we made 35, did we make it with 30 people or 40 people? Then we've got this root cause. We're tracking any issues that are keeping us from being efficient. We're putting those in there. And then we've got cross training. There's, those are all the operators on first and second shift and the machines there, they know how to run. All right, key performance indicator number three. These are the issues. So if we have issues in maintenance or purchasing or in the housekeeping zones or engineering, we're taking a sticky pad note, putting it up there, and it stays up there until we walk it through and finish it off. Then I'll file those away by day. So we're getting a nice little stack going so far, but we're taking care of problems, so that's a good thing. Okay, then key performance indicator number four is the housekeeping. We've assigned a zone to each operator, so they're accountable to make that zone look good. And with each zone are six little pictures of the expectation. So here are our zones. This is for just building number one. And here's an example. This is zone number one, housekeeping, which is the front of the building. Then six things that we're looking for. So now, that person knows what needs to be done and they're accountable for it. So in first shift, it's Luis and second shift, it's Jose Soriano. And if it's not up to what we want, we'll put a sticky pad up there. We'll go to that spot, review it with them and continue to get better on the housekeeping. Okay, so that's it. Now to recap real quick. Our key performance Gemba board. Uh, here's before. 
and now here we are today so you can see we added two cabinets to extend the length of the thing to the 10 feet we needed and we've been holding meetings now for a little over a week Jose is doing a great job leading the meeting and so far so good like in the progress